Family heirlooms chewed up and destroyed by urine and feces as rats roam rented storage units. Some of the culprits can even be found dead. Thank you for joining us on the Night Beat at 10. I'm Amanda Hall. And I'm Russ McCaskey. The horror is being echoed by people who trusted iStorage in North Fort Myers to keep their belongings safe. The Night Beat's Taylor Works joins us now live from outside that facility. Taylor, are the people who are dealing with this being offered any compensation? Amanda, they may be able to get up to $500 through insurance, but that, that's only if they can provide receipts for the item's damage. And with many of these things being family heirlooms, there's no receipt for items like that. When Michael Drongowski opened his unit at ice storage in North Fort Myers a month and a half ago, he was horrified at what he found. I saw the dead rat hanging over my fan and I thought, what the heck? The next thing you know, opening boxes, they were running out of it. I said, no, I can't deal with this. He told his friend Gary Gwen, who also rents a unit there, Gwen found his in no better shape. There were tons of rat feces, urine over everything. You cannot touch it. It's a biohazard. Both estimate the amount of money lost to damages is high. If I had to put a guesstimate on it, I would say at least $50,000 in property value of mine is gone. Probably about $40,000, $50,000 in the inside. But they say more upsetting than that is the item's sentimental value. There's a lot of um, heirlooms from, you know, grandparents, things like that, so not replaceable. It is family stuff that is lost. I'm never going to get that back. Priceless, priceless. They told me management hasn't done anything to fix the problem or told other renters about it. And they're afraid people could be walking into their units unaware of the health risks. Please make sure that your tenants are aware of it, more so not just for the money, but so that nobody gets sick from it. It's a sad situation because this may be all people have in life right now, and it's all destroyed. My photographer and I attempted to visit the property ourselves this afternoon, but were asked to leave. I did speak with two people from iStorage management on the phone, and I asked them for a statement. So far, they have not gotten back to me. Now, it's worth noting when we were out on the property earlier today, I did notice some rat boxes around the units. It's not clear who put those there. I am waiting for a statement from management, and I'll let you know if I get one. On the night beat, Taylor Wirtz, Wink News.